Today's cocktail, The Greenhorn, was created by Bobby Hugel for Refugee in Houston, Texas. Hugel is a bar owner who has uh, been opening some of the most exciting concepts in Texas, and he wasn't one of these guys that came up in fancy bars with star tender mentors. According to Difford's Guide, he barely set foot in a cocktail bar until he opened his first one, Anvil Bar and Refuge in Houston. Now he runs a bar empire of some truly great places to drink. I saw the specs on this cocktail and I knew I had to do it. Midori and tequila? Yes, please. All right, first things first, we grab our mixing glass and we're gonna do one ounce of Midori, three quarters of an ounce of Suze, and then we're gonna do one ounce and a quarter Blanco tequila. I'm using tequila arete. If you wanna do this cocktail the way that Bobby Hugel did it, uh, you'll wanna use El Tesoro tequila. Uh, I ran out, so we're using the arete, which I think is gonna be really good anyway. I'm gonna grab a Nick and Nora. So crack a couple cubes. Add in the rest of your ice and give it a stir. I'm excited. We rarely, rarely do green cocktails on this channel. I can just imagine that, you know, the Suze is really gonna bring in some complexity and bitterness to the Midori. I mean, in my brain, this is already a work of genius. I think that's good. And then we are going to strain into our glass and garnish with the cherry. I'm doing this with my hands, but if you are not doing this at home, Use some tweezers. Still, I don't want to put my hands in the cocktail, so boom, green cherry. Look at that, look how beautiful that is, dude. Amazing. On the front end, it's like pretty sweet, and then it devolves to that gentian bitterness that you get from the Suze. The tequila plays really nicely with this drink, but this is a very specific flavored drink. I could do one of these. I don't know if I would be ordering two in a night. It's super boozy. It's a very, 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 very specific flavor and, and kind of weird. You know, you get those agave notes and you get some of the minerality of the tequila, and then that kind of devolves into the Suze, and it's really you know, get that gentian bitterness, and then you get all of the kind of saccharine sweetness of the Midori right as you swallow. It's, it's interesting. There it is, guys, the greenhorn. Today's pro tip is a drum I have been beating for a long time on this channel, and that is make your cocktails beautiful. Our first impression of what we eat and drink is so strong that a mediocre cocktail that looks like a million bucks will actually taste better to you than a million dollar cocktail that looks mediocre. So make sure your cocktails make sense, tell a story, are functional, and beautiful to behold. Your cocktails and the interactions of your guests with your cocktails will be the better for it.